You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number 36 of 2020, appointing Sabah Salim Dosri as the Shura Council member, succeeding Khamis Hamad Mohammed Rumehi, and his term in office will be until the end of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Decree 58 of 2020, forming the Board of Trustees of the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies. Chaired by the Minister of Education, the Board of Trustees comprises the following members Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Mahmoud Al Mahmoud, the representative of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Salman Sheikh Mansour Al Sitri, representative of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the President of the University of Bahrain, Education and Curricula Affairs Under Secretary of the Ministry of Education, Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council. Chairman of the Jafari Endowment Council, Director of the Scientific Research at the Secretariat General of the Higher Education Council, Sheikh Dr. Farid Yaqub Yusuf Al Miftah, Representative of the Supreme Judicial Council, Salah Yusuf Abdul Aziz Al Jodar, Member of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Mahmoud Nasser Majid Al Tublani, Member of the Jafari Endowments Council, Principal of the Religious Institute, the Principal of the Jafari Religious Institute, Dean of the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies. The members will serve for a four year term. His Royal Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired an ordinary weekly cabinet meeting in which he affirmed that the health and safety of citizens on, and residents are of utmost importance and that Team Bahrain is constantly working on protecting them through the executive and legislative authorities as well as civil and private enterprises. He said that the objective of the government's strategy is to contain the spread of the coronavirus COVID-19. He praised the awareness of the Bahraini society and its sense of patriotism and shared responsibility through the efforts of every individual. The cabinet issued directives to intensify precautionary measures through the coordination of the national medical team, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Health, the endowment councils and the heads of Matems to ensure the safety of upcoming religious and social events. The cabinet affirmed that non-compliance with the precautionary measures represents a threat to society. It praised the efforts of the medical staff and all who support them for their dedication, patience and sense of responsibility. Following this, the cabinet discussed the International Day of Charity and affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain's leading role in the field thanks to the support and the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet then welcomed the peace treaty that has been signed between the Sudanese government and the Revolutionary Front, which it said will contribute to the stability and lasting peace in the country and will realize the aspirations of the Sudanese people. The cabinet secretary general, Dr. Yasser Al Nasser, made a statement after the conclusion of the meeting in which he stated the following points. In implementation of the order issued by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to intensify inspections in workshops, garages and factories located in industrial and commercial areas adjacent to residential areas, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism reviewed the results of inspection campaigns. The Cabinet approved the recommendations of the Civil Service Council led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier to amend the organizational structure of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism by cancelling the position of the Undersecretary, changing the titles of the position of Undersecretary of the Ministry and Administration and transferring the subordination of the position of Assistant Undersecretary and its directorates. The Cabinet also approved the formation of the Ministry of Interior Council led by the Minister of Interior in light of the Ministry's efforts to develop security work and to utilize modern systems in evaluating and studying the acceleration of security circumstances. The Cabinet approved a resolution requiring prior written approval from the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to advertise state-owned sports and youth facilities established for sports clubs. The Cabinet referred to the Ministry Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs the Memorandum of the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the request for the admission of the National Space Sciences Authority to the membership of the International Astronautical Federation. The Memorandum of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication on the Draft Charter establishing the Digital Cooperation Organization was also referred to the Ministry Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet was briefed on the report of the Minister of Labor and Social Development on the outcomes of the outdoor work ban during July and August. The Cabinet approved seven proposals implemented by the government at the time of their submission through the procedures it has taken. The proposals regard the establishment of rehabilitation centers and institutes as well as care centers for people with disabilities and a government center for the rehabilitation of people with disabilities and autism. The Cabinet was briefed on the reports of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on the Ministry's advertising of youth empowerment centers and the outcomes of the 33rd meeting of the GCC Ministers of Youth and Sports. 
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired a virtual meeting for the Istijaba Committee through which a number of decisions have been made. His Highness issued directives to officially adopt a unified sports calendar, increase the profits of the National League and to provide incentives for players. His Highness welcomed the efforts that are being taken by coordinating with various governmental parties in order to carry out the committee's plans as per the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Human humanitarian work and youth affairs is Hanis Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa which are intended to enhance the field of youth and sports in the kingdom. His Highness followed up on the meeting's discussions through which the committee arrived at a number of decisions. His Highness ordered the committee to coordinate with the Bahrain Football Federation to create a comprehensive plan with clear objectives, a fixed duration and a list of participants to communicate with football federations to increase club revenue, to provide incentives to players and to convert the Jafer Hall to serve multiple purposes. His Highness ordered following up on the process of documenting heritage sports in Bahrain and to thank the committee that is carrying out these tasks. His Highness also ordered the coordination with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to find ways to license food truck activities. His Highness then ordered reserving a space close to the National Stadium for food trucks. Finally, His Highness encouraged all parties to continue to follow up on the programs that contribute to the development of the field of youth and sports. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, participated in a virtual roundtable session as organized by the Ministry, along with STC, whereby various topics on the digital transformation of the national economy were discussed. During the session, the Ministry affirmed that Bahrain has been experiencing a boom in the field of e-commerce during this exceptional period, which he said represents a big opportunity for technology to meet the demands of the consumer market. Zayani said that as a result, the Ministry looks forward to increasing trust by the consumers in e-commerce. A new national strategy was therefore announced in this regard with the goal of building a friendly environment for e-commerce and to make Bahrain a favored destination for the industry around the world. He finally added that an initiative which was announced last April has been launched recently to establish an e-complex that supports this emerging sector. The President of Customs Affairs, Sheikh Ahmed Al Khalifa, inspected the air shipment center and followed up on how goods are processed and how health precautionary measures are implemented during this exceptional period. Sheikh Ahmed affirmed the Directorate's keenness on making commerce easier to conduct in the kingdom through speedy customs procedures and faster processing of commercial goods. He praised the role of the Directorate's Consumer Service Center, which offers services to citizens and residents online, and responds to queries about shipping details in a professional and transparent manner. He also affirmed that the Directorate is keen on enhancing economic growth and offering exceptional customs services. Jay Ahmed said that the volume of air shipments have increased, which reflects greater traffic in e-commerce and a positive indication for government revenue. He added that the Customs Affairs has strategies in place to improve its services and to enhance its processing and monitoring capabilities. The Ministry of Health affirmed the importance of cooperation and participation from all members of society during the current stage to support national efforts aimed at confronting the corona pandemic and mitigating its spread. The Ministry hailed all members of society participating in the third phase of the vaccine clinical trials, stressing that volunteering and experiment supports efforts aimed at developing a safe and effective vaccine that provides society, or rather protects society and humanity. The Ministry asserted that there is a remarkable turnout of volunteers in the Kingdom for clinical trials as over 3,000 volunteers volunteers from various nationalities received a dose of the vaccine since the beginning of trials last August. Meanwhile, the ministry said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,269 with 301 recoveries and 644 registered new cases as well as one death. 87 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 546 are contacts of active cases and 11 travel related. The deceased is a 64-year-old female citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.